One of the most unique experiences left in GTA 5 are RP servers, and many of them are often less than appealing, difficult to get into, and generally just leave you wonder what you're supposed to be doing. Luckily, with the help of this beginner's guide for Grand RP, I'll be able to help you get started within the city. And obviously, a big thank you to Grand RP for sponsoring this video. So first things first, head over to the description and use my referral links to sign up for Grand RP and get yourself in the third English server that I'm playing on too. If you do so, you will receive a cool $25,000 right off the bat and some other bonuses too. While you download the game and get set up, make sure to read through the rules of the server so you can make sure that it will stay fun for everyone and, well, you stay out of trouble. To give a bit of a TLDR for the aim of RP, it's really to play out the characters that you create and don't really treat the game like a GTA Online where you just shoot and kill everything that moves. It's more so about the people that you meet and the adventures that you get up to. It's more of a community focused type of experience. So don't really be afraid to say hello to everyone because you know, you never know where it might lead you. All right, let's get you set up within the server. First, you obviously want to create a very good looking character that only slightly resembles the exact same character that you've been using since 2013. Once that is done, you'll find your way inside of your hotel room and you can make your way to the hotel lobby and eventually the parking area where you'll be able to talk to this fine young lady who will be able to give you a rental scooter. So that way you can start making your cross town because walking is something that you don't want to do. But if you do see someone walking or riding around in your scooter, by all means, feel free to offer them a ride so you can, you know, be a good Samaritan like you should be. In the hotel lobby, you'll be able to speak to the fine young lady behind the desk. In there, you'll be able to look through all the different kinds of families within Grand RP. An easy way to explain what families are is pretty simple. These are groups of people that have like-minded ideas about uh, how you should spend time in the city. Obviously, through crime. One of the city's families, the Ace family, is the one that I personally joined and spent some time with. Through them and their helpful endeavors, I managed to also just get to know a bunch more people, get to learn more about the city itself, and really enhance my RP experience with it. Through them, they also allow me to give some additional things and let them get involved in some more of the serious crimes. We got up to hostage takings as well as store robberies, and there's a whole lot of other things that you can do if you are a part of the family. So if you do get into Grand RP and you're looking for a family to join, I'd say the Ace family is definitely a good shout to do. Obviously, you could also explore other families and seeing what they're all about instead of just simply joining the one that I suggested. You want to start out by opening up your inventory and also selecting the map so you know where to go. This handy map over here will allow you to show you what route you should be taking when you first make it into the city. Open up your quest tab and the menu is also a great way of figuring out like what to do, where to go and what kind of activities you can get up to. Or you can just simply keep following this video whatever you prefer. Also, make sure to invest into any of these investments you see on screen for some money for just simply playing the game. There's a variety between like one hour, two hours, four hours, eight hours, whatever you feel like doing on a particular day. You can do this once a day. So if you feel like playing one hour today, then you can go for the one hour investment. Or if you feel like an absolute mad lad with nothing else going on, you can go for the eight hours. But honestly, that might be a little bit too many video games in one day. You can also not do anything in terms of just standing still and going AFK. That's something that is highly discouraged and possibly can also get you into troubles with some of the admins. So if you're going to do this, make sure to actually play the game. And at the end of the day, you're just getting money for just simply playing. So it's really a no brainer, really. After you've set that up, you want to make your way to the power plant to get started with your beginner's quest. Here you'll be able to start the electrician job, which honestly is pretty straightforward. You want to make your way to the yellow circle and get employed at the job. From there, you'll be able to look on your map to go to each of the locations to connect the three different wires to give the fuse boxes the sweet, sweet juice that they so desire. After that, you can make your way to the next one and keep going until your belly is full. There are multiple different levels that you can go through from each job to make them more profitable and effective. So it's entirely up to you how long you want to keep going, whether you want to make some bit of extra cash or you want to make your way towards that sweet level three. 
more on that later. Some quick tips I can give you on the electrician job as well is to try to get the wires in a clockwise order or just simply take a guess, whatever floats your boat. If you do in a clockwise order though, you'll be able to figure out which ones stick a bit easier. Also, if you guess one wire correctly, it will stick, so you can just leave the last two to figure out what it is. It will make everything a lot easier. The mini game itself obviously isn't really rocket science and it's pretty easy to figure out, so I'm sure you'll be alright. Once you have done four fuse boxes, you will be able to move on to the next job in your beginner's quest. This way you want to make your way to the post office and when you're at the post office you want to make your way through this door here and then make your way to the end of the lobby. There you'll be able to talk to Steve and he will have a package for you that will include $500 and instructions to make your way to the driving school. Now you don't want to spend this $500 because you will need it for your driver's license and the driving test. You can find the driving school at the La Puerta Helipad where you talk to this handsome devil over here to get started. Before you drive off though, make sure to limit your speed to 90 km per hour. You can do this by pressing G on your keyboard while you're in the car. The limit is indeed 100 km an hour and you have 3 mistakes to, you know, not go past that. But because of the GTA 5 vehicle physics, where the developers of the server can do nothing about, you will sometimes exceed that 100 kilometers an hour, so that is why exactly you want to stick to 90 kilometers per hour. Next up, after you've acquired your brand spanking new driver's license, you want to make your way to the oil fields and start living the dream of being the rich oiler you always wanted to be. Make your way to one of the oil cranes and start drilling. The most effective way to go about this is by holding left mouse button and then move it to the next one so you can make everything go just ever so slightly quicker. Once you get a total of 5 barrels, you can then sell these at the buyer which you can find over here. Also make sure that you select the right gasoline option as there are three different ones so if you didn't bother changing that then it's always going to be the gasoline one but just making sure and also check your inventory which barrels you actually have in case you don't actually manage to sell them and once you have sold these five barrels you will have finally completed the beginner's quest and receive a cool five thousand dollars for doing so obviously you don't have to stick to five barrels if you want to keep going a little bit and make a little bit extra money while you're already down there then feel free to do so you now know how the oil job works and again it's another thing like with the electrician job where you can keep going and keep leveling up your oil job to uh, eventually make even more money down the road once that's done you can make your way to one of the parking garages if you want to start using the vehicle that was given to you because if you got your driver's license you'll be given a red loader now obviously this is not the most amazing looking car but it will get you from a to b especially when starting out and well since rental scooters constantly disappear after five minutes this is probably a good way to go about it there's a little catch to it though if you want to park your car away it's gonna cost you a thousand dollars a day so invest wisely if you feel like doing so with that in mind though you can also start looking into the highest paying jobs and what they currently are they will start expiring and switch up every hour but in my case this was the electrician job and you could tell that this was actually working because a lot of people were actually already there so you could kind of spark some conversation and see what's going down what you can also do is focus on leveling some of the other jobs like the electrician job or the oil job to benefit from this at a later time and some of the jobs around the city will give you a higher payout for having a certain set of skills like the construction job and in case you're wondering level 3 really is the one where you want to be aiming for people actually own some of these construction sites and are actually always on the look out for people who are just wanting to be employed with the right skills for the job and always you know remember never be afraid to say hello to someone because before you know it you get an invite to join a family and start a brand new adventure for just simply saying hello to someone that is the wonders of being around in an RP server. An adventure is always just a conversation away.